take off. Okay, let's see which angle. I want to give you guys a pilot view. So let's try this angle. And if you miss any shots, you can uh, use the drone shots. So let's go. Double check, double check. All systems clear. Let's go. Yes, 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 not too big. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, guys, we're loose. We got some headwind. Wow. We are pulling 130 amps. Wow! Okay, I need to get familiar with this model. We got some headwinds. Wow, what a noise. Let's give it a little bit of drum momentum. Wow! Awesome! <laughs> I need to tune the 3BSM because it wants to fly backwards. But system and handling are quite fine. Super happy with this result. Can't wait to see the drone footage. Okay, we're now for two minutes. We have burned like 50% of the lipo. Let's come closer. Wow. Wow. Okay, that's time to land. <laughs> yes. Okay, let it cool down. Wow! <laughs> yes! Yes, yes! <laughs> okay guys, this was an exciting first flight. We're going also to try the RC jet print model. Uh, we upgraded this model with 40mm EDF, so I need to tune this. Uh, we got some good conditions, but I'm quite happy about this result. Um, during the hover, the 3 BSI was tilted more than 90 degrees. My idea it was like, like 95 degrees, so actually it wants to fly backwards. So that's why you got this crazy uh, front hanging, uh, nose down angle hover. So this is also tested, so we got a nose down hover. I uh, need to keep it down to keep, yeah, to straighten actually the of pivot, how you call it in English. I need to practice more on my English, but it will pivot like 90 degrees downwards if I go nose down.
it there. <laughs> so cool. I drive for my, yeah. The battery is empty because it's quite cold now. So this is really brilliant about the DJI Mini 4. So we had a, we had a nice flight with this uh, RC Jetprint model. So if, if you cannot wait to fly these models, this one is already available on RC Jetprint. But look at it, it's like Terminator. It's landing by itself. So this will uh, help the YouTube channel to make some nice uh, cinematic shots. Here we go. Thank you, DJI. It's fun. Wow, that F-35 is massive. Nine kilos of weight. Um, it's starting to get very windy. So I will search for an uh, other moment to take this model off. I will tune it. And for now, let's go back to the shop. What you see here is prototype number two of the big F-35B hovering testing frame. And look at it. Okay guys, I've been thinking. Um, I do like making big airplanes, but I need to do it as a YouTuber quite fast. So thanks to the X tool, we've built and managed to build this model together with friends. Lai, thank you so much again uh, to build this in uh, several evenings last week. Um, so I'm going to also combine it with 3D printing. So this, listen to me, listen out. This is my idea. So what I'm going to do is use the skeleton frame, print with foaming filaments a skin around it, and actually at the end maybe glass it or finishing it. But I think this is a really fast way of making airplanes big, cheaply, and we've got the the best laser in the world, the X2. We got the form labs for printing the the landing gears. And we got the Bamboo Lab for printing color fraps foaming filaments. Let me know what you think about this idea in the comments. Well guys, I've been busy. We've got already some cool parts for the big F-35. So again, this is a testing frame. Uh, for me, it's the first time that I'm trying 2 times 130 millimeter EDF from Schubler. Together, together they can push a amazing 20 kilos plus of thrust which is really really impressive so the gears are already printed with the form laps these are functional and they are heavy duty and really guys the, the videos from last week they have driven really millions of millions of views so thank you so much for that 
so follow me also on Instagram and TikTok where I share the detailed hover videos. So my idea for this video is to close this entire fuselage or testing frame with 3D printed lightweight elements uh, from Colorfab. And according to the drawings, it should actually fit quite nicely. <laughs> and it does. Look at it. Ah, and then we got our cockpit parts. Also printed with foaming filaments. <laughs> Look at it. Just just wow and just in an instant it looks like an f-35b cockpit can you imagine when we finish all these parts in this frame i can't wait so my idea in this video is is to use all those parts add it all to the frame so my idea is is to talk to you all the way through it during this build um, a lot of people are complaining about the music, so I don't add any music to this video. So let's remove this again. And I will speed up. So what this part actually also does is bring a lot of stiffness into this front section. So also the torque will be solved. So I'm using a separate gap to glue the parts together. Let's continue. So the front cockpit part is glued and nicely aligned in place. Uh, what we could add is actually the, the cockpit, uh, how you saw the plate, build plate. But I will not glue this part because I still want to have some access to the, to the front landing gear. So let's continue to the next part, which is the air intakes. Okay, let's put her upside down. It's getting heavy, by the way, also as well. <laughs> okay, lift fan. Okay guys, the lift fan is quite tricky. So what I actually want to do is to guide the air smoothly through this and then if we take the bottom plate this should actually fit over it because it's getting from a circular shape to a uh, hexagon shape so this is also always a challenge so let's continue adding this part Okay, there you have it in place. It fits nice, it closes really nice. So I will put a drip of glue and sand it afterwards when the entire fuselage is finished and aligned. So yeah, let me know guys what you think about it. I really could use, use uh, your support. Um, I do have a Patreon link, all links are in the website. Uh, yeah, some support will be welcome. But uh, for now, let's concentrate and focus on the build. And <laughs> guys, you are witnessing a really fast build. Laser cutting the parts out of really cheap materials, printing the parts with the 3D printers out of foaming filaments from Colorfab, printing the landing gates, which are really strong and stiff from the Formlabs printer. And we are building a really big airplane. So I will go some fast forward. I think you got the idea what I'm trying to um, achieve here. So I will glue the side and uh, we'll come back to you in the next uh, chapter. Okay, let's continue. So parts are getting glued and also the, the fit is, is really nice. It's quite nice aligned. This is actually the lift fan door. Uh, for now, this is still a, a mock-up, so I will use some carbon rods to keep the door open. This is all just for testing and seeing the behavior. 
but it's uh, becoming really really nice so we need to, be able to make sure that the blocks align very well so and it's quite difficult to glue but we are getting there so let's continue these parts and close the other parts and then Thomas will demonstrate it at the end how it's going to look like of niet Thomas nee oh wel dat dacht ik <laughs> okay let's proceed okay guys I want to show you something cool uh, the blocks are getting in but uh, yeah I still need to practice some alignment so I will improve this next time but it looks quite stunning already but look at it the main landing gear door it fits really really nicely taking it out so no collisions according to the drawings it shouldn't and it actually does so in the next coming videos next week uh, we're going to add a linear motor and a locking servo to lock and move this main landing gear wheel again from this side <laughs> it is just perfect so we got lots of space over here to add the hinges for the main landing gear doors also on this side we got lots of space to add servos to make this wheel turns really really impressive okay let's continue and now we will focus on this area well guys it is really starting to look like an f35b Keep in mind this is still a testing frame the purpose of the or the goal to build this is to find how it behaves with this kind of weight it's like 7.5 kilos including the lipos um, we also need to find out where to put the roll nozzles so during the first testing trials that we're sending over here but maybe we need to extend the arm to get more roll momentum so I will make this just for safety um, so we're going to also start printing the top cover to close this electronic bar part and uh, then we're going to try our hover like how it is that is going to be epic so let's continue printing these uh, roll nozzles top hatch and uh, let's prepare it for the first flight. 